Hi Aris, JC here. So let me answer your question or your request rather for an update regarding FNI or Global Ferronickel Holdings Incorporated. First off, I'm going to show you the weekly chart of FNI. Okay? So prior to rec prior to recording this video, I already pre-plotted the support and resistance levels of FNI. So since the support levels are buried too deeply you know at the bottom we need to zoom this out so I can show you those support and resistance levels so do you see this currently FNI uh, FNI closed at 1.52 yesterday and uh, the next uh, support level is pegged at 1.43 now you need to watch on this 1.43 to 1.52 range because the moment you know if and when FNI touches the the midpoint or the middle the middle of 1.52 and 1.43 range then the chances of this stock hitting or touching 1.43 will uh, will increase dramatically or it will be the the downward pull of the bears will be you know more uh, will be stronger if and when it touches the middle of 1.43 and 1.52 range so keep an eye keep an, an eye to 1.43 now what we don't want to see what special what you don't want to see here Aries is, is uh, FNI inching closer to the support level at 1.43 because if the price drops near if not exactly on 1.43 and that drop is supported by volume it will be quite painful to watch FNI uh, um, going below 1.43 towards 1.0 okay so t keep an eye to 1.43 if it's inching closer towards the bottom at 1.43 especially if it's supported by volume it will be it's going to double the risk the risk of seeing FNI uh, dropping near 1.0 now for the resistance level let me let's uh, plot it out using this uh, weekly chart so this is where I see the resistance level of FNI somewhere near 1.70 1.69 to 1.70 so but first off FNI or the traders of FNI must uh, reverse the bearish price movement that is supported by a bearish volume also yesterday they need to reverse reverse that bearish uh, intraday movement yesterday with the bullish uh, volume so that uh, the, the 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 ascent will be more convincing uh, will be more convincing to translate that for a continuity but for now but for now for those who do not have FNI yet I do not advise entering a, a new position on FNI stay on the sideline be on a watch and see mode um, the chances are high for this stock to to continue moving moving bearishly or if not moving it will just move side sideways until it gets uh, uh, until it uh, gets uh, an upward traction or an uh, or an upward uh, bullish uh, support coming from the traders but, but again for now stay on the sidelines do not enter a new position yet now if you already have uh, if you have already entered a position on FNI as always be on top of your trailing stop loss because because it represents your the risk tolerance that you can only handle the risk percentage that you can only tolerate do not trade FNI do not continue holding FNI if it's already moving way below your trailing stop loss because it doesn't make sense holding a stock that's give you stress more than what you can only handle okay so that's it for FNI now let's take a look at the daily daily chart let me show that to you as well now for the daily chart of FNI as you can see here yesterday's bearish price action yesterday's price action was obviously bearish 
and the volume was way above its 30 day 30 day vol uh, for 30 day volume average if uh, if you have read our quick start guide from the beginning till the end you know or you must have read what i wrote what i wrote there what did i wrote there about the price volume uh, um, distribution if it's a bearish price action and if it's supported by a tall volume then it means the downward price movement is more likely more likely to continue that's why i advised you i have advised you to say stay on the sidelines for now be on watch and see mode okay uh, as far as the moving averages of fni are concerned well it's uh this blue line here is the 200 day moving average simple moving average and this green line here is the 10 day simple moving average this green line here represents my short term uh, sentiment and this blue line here represents my long term sentiment since the price is is both below these two simple moving averages i would say obviously fni is moving confirmed inside the bearish territory both in the short term and long term perspectives it's all the more that you need to stay on the sidelines if you don't have fni yet okay now let's uh, zoom this uh, zoom this in so we can check the uh, foreign uh, foreign investor sentiment on this stock foreign investors are not that much uh, participative or active of fni nonetheless yesterday triggered it actually triggered a 25 uh, 25.5 million pesos worth of um, outflow of foreign funds that was yesterday still uh, relatively insignificant compared to the foreign investors uh, participation uh, primarily on blue chip stocks but I just want to show you the what the foreign investors think about FNI okay so this is that's the foreign investor sentiment on FNI. Now for the MACD on a daily chart, we see that uh, the MACD line, which is the blue line here, already crossed below the signal line, which is the red line. So when MACD, when MACD registered a bearish divergence with a signal line, especially when the MACD line is below the zero line, and the price is below the 10-day SMA, that's the total opposite of my buy indicator. Well, that's a sell signal okay now for the RSI it's, it's already it has already crossed below the um, margin margin between the uh, margin between the overbought and oversold levels right now RSI is already tra trading inside the overs oversold territory now I'd like you to excuse yourself from the classical interpretation of RSI entering the oversold territory um, based on books if and when the stock enters the oversold territory on RSI it can be translated as a buy signal no not yet I I advise you to again be on watch and see mode do not enter a new position on RS on on FNI wait for the dust to settle so what are the signs that you need to, to, to wait before you could consider uh, doing a test buy on FNI? Wait for the uh, volume to, to go flimsy, to get thinner, thinner than what it has registered for the past few days. So basically if the, if the price if the price is bearish, wait for the volume to, to get thinner than what we see right now because if and if the price continues to go bearish but the but the volume gets thinner as days go by then it's a probable sign it's a possible sign that those convinced sellers um, may have already sold what they have already decided to sold it's getting exhausted meaning to say the, the the appetite to sell may have already been exhausted if the volume gets thinner and thinner as days go by 
even though the price uh, is still on a bearish uh, price move, uh, price direction. So wait for this uh, volume to get thinner. It doesn't matter whether the foreign investors are buying or selling on FNI, knowing that foreign investors are not that participative on a significant level on FNI. And if possible, wait for the price to cross above the 10 day simple moving average. Um, my buy indicator goes like this I am using the 10 day SMA and the MACD position to. To get a confirmed buy signal and how do I do that first the price should go go above should move above the 10 day simple moving average and the MACD line should cross above the signal line which is the red line now you can preempt that at least you can preempt that if the price moves above the 10 day simple moving average especially if it's supported by volume even though MACD is yet to cross above the signal line, you can you may want to preempt that. You have the option to preempt that, meaning to say you can you can do a test buy even though the MACD even though MAC, the MACD line has not yet crossed above the signal line. Now it however, if you want to have a, a higher conviction level to really enter a new position of FNI, then you have the option to wait for for the price action not only to go above the 10 day simple moving average but also you have to wait for the MACD to cross above the signal line that's a stronger buy signal than preempting the completion of a confirmed buy signal from this uh, 10 day SMA and MACD tandem or combo okay so what are the other indicators or signs that you need to wait that you need to see before you consider entering a new position on um, FNI aside from uh, the relation of the price movement with the 10 day simple moving average and the MACD with the signal line uh, wait for the RSI to enter the to go above the uh, 20 20 uh, 20 uh, 20 level so let's let's change this change this to 80, 80 by 20 okay so previously the the range was set at 70 meaning to say um, if the RSI goes above 70 th that that can be classically interpreted as as the stock moving inside the over bot territory and if it goes below 30 it's a sign that the stock is moving uh, in the oversold territory but I've adjusted it to 80 by 20 so right now Right now, RSI is at the brink of crossing below the 20 score. So, what you want to see here is that if the price, if this price, if this candlestick soars above the 10-day simple moving average, the green line, and the MACD tries, and the MACD prints um, or reverses reverses its position for, go from from the southward direction to the northward direction, and if the RSI does the same as MACD, meaning to say it, if it reverses its direction from the southward going to the northward direction, then those are three signs uh, for you to consider consider doing a test buy. So unless and until you see those signs, I would advise again and again stay on the sidelines, stay on the sideline, be on watch and watch and see mode. Okay. Now as far as the as far as the uh, top ten player sentiment sentiments are concerned this is this is the this is the this is the top 10 players chart of FNI so as of yesterday's trade as of uh, yesterday's trading okay okay as of yesterday's trading let me just check the uh, change the dates here January 21 we got 53 participants now 26 out of those 20, 53 participants registered 100% buying activity one out of 53 registered 100% selling, selling activity you, you you might want to ask so sir why do you advise us to stay on the sidelines especially if we haven't entered a new position on FNI yet if 
yesterday, nearly 50% of the trading participants or brokers registered 100% selling activity. The reason for this is that those majority, if not all of those 26 uh, bullish or 100% buy uh, or those brokers with 100% buying activity, 26 of them are not even in the top 10 players list or just one of them. Only one of them is in the top 10 players list. Who is that one? BA Securities. Meaning to say, 25 of those confident buyers, those brokers with 100% buying activity, are not in the top 10 players picture. Maybe they are in the top 20, top 30, top 40, or top 50. So we are only concerned, I am only concerned about the sentiments of the top 10 players or top 10 brokers who played the stock at a given date. So I'm going to disregard, in this case, I'm going to disregard those 26 confident buyers yesterday because only one of those 26 is in the picture of the top 10 players chart. So those remaining 25 confident buyers have no bearing at all in my in my uh, interpretation of the top 10 player sentiment. I remain bearish on FNI. Okay, so the top 10 players buying average is at 1.53. The top 10 player selling average is also pegged within that level. level. Okay, so take a look at the at SB Securities. It was, it was the one who registered 100% selling activity yesterday. Okay, so we only got five, five out of ten top ten players registered a green total turnover value, and five of which registered a negative, uh, total turn uh, negative uh, no not not total turnover value but uh, negative uh, net amount. Okay, net amount. So that's it. Um, if, if I were to only analyze yesterday's top 10 player sentiment, if I were to analyze only yesterday's top 10 player sentiment, I would say that there was a tag of war. There was a tag of war between the bears and the bulls. Looking at this picture, there's, there's a tie. There's a tie in terms of the number of uh, top 10 players with a positive net amount. There's a tie. There's a 5 on 5 score. Okay. Um, however, if we are going to consider the the signals being emitted by our other indicators, such as the position of the price on the 10-day simple moving average, um, the foreign investors uh, action, the position of the MACD uh, below the signal line, and the RSI go. Uh, um, be, uh, positioning itself at the brink of crossing the uh, crossing inside the or entering the oversold territory, then I would say that my overall sentiment on the on FNI is remains bearish. Okay, so at least I do hope I was able to give you a substantial update on FNI. So if you have further questions, don't hesitate to post your question on the thread that you have created for this. Uh, for this particular stock. Thank you again. My name is Jay-Z of Equilist Analytics.